but this one is 1.3 inches all the way across. This is a beefy, beefy, beefy joker right here. Damn Mandingo of the axles. What's going on boys and girls? Today we are working on my 2400 EX and we're going to be doing a little bit of axle hardware replacement. So this axle is a Durablue X33 pin axle. Now Durablue does have a regular splined style axle, but this is like the, I don't know, like the more race, like drag race type axle. You see most of these, I've seen most of these on Banshees and stuff like that. But the splined axle in your hub will be splined like so. So the hub will slide on the axle and then it will have a, a cotter bolt and a cotter pin that will hold on your hub where with these is no spline but the actual hub is held on via a bolt that goes through the hub and through the axle to the other side so it's literally bolted straight through there's no splines to strip because the bolt goes straight through I did not notice when I bought it, but uh, this wheel was the one that had a lot of play in it. And I was trying to figure out what was going on. So the other wheel, the hardware is correct. This wheel is the one that's jacked up. And I wasn't going to record taking the wheel off. But if you look, you can see that, that bottom one is hardly any of the bolt coming through the wheel. And this was barely on maybe like three threads. This is just, I don't know what happened on this side, but it is all jacked up. And when I posted this on the Honda Hoarders original Facebook group, not the 2.0, uh, one of the guys that commented said that I had to contact Dura Blue themselves, and I did. And I bought all new hardware uh, right here, and it was $78 shipped. Got it straight from Durablue in California. These bolts are just, so at least they are threaded, but this one is not moving all that great. This one is tight. Uh, the bottom one is not all the way in there. And this is the way that I picked it up. Uh, this bolt is not correct, uh, but it's in there. So what I'm going to do is, at least on this side, I'm going to replace all this hardware with the correct hardware get everything tightened down i think this bolt is supposed to be like 90 foot pounds according to the directions and everything so i want to make sure all this hardware is correct because the way it was on here you know is not going to be very good at all if it if i wanted to be a water track i would just take the pin out and then just move it to the outside hole and then that extends the track. I have to measure it, but I would guess it's right about two inches. And then of course you can see that it's a clamp style that holds it on with a bolt that needs to be torqued to 90 foot pounds. I haven't seen a video of anybody working. I couldn't find a video of anybody actually working on these pin axles. That's the only reason why I wanted to make a separate video for this so let's get this hardware taken out and let's get the new stuff prepped and in.
Oh, it doesn't screw out. Got everything off surprising, surprisingly. Everything looks good. Uh, and the most important part, the pin for pin axle goes in the inside hole and has just very minimal play. And that was what I was in, and that's what I was worried about. I was worried about this hole being over out, but it has very little play in it. Uh, it seems like the outside hole has had more runtime than the inside hole as just a little bit more wallowed out. So I believe that this 400 used to be a bike that somebody raced. Uh, the more I go over it, the more and more it makes sense that maybe in this earlier years, it had to be no later than 2010 I'm thinking because the front uh, extended control arms uh, kind of looking at the form post around 2010 it was people looking for parts and the wicked products arms were already discontinued in 2010 so I'm thinking you know from its birth in 2000 to 2010 somebody raced this bike at some point it just it otherwise it doesn't make sense why somebody would put probably a at that time a seven eight hundred dollar axle uh, on this 400 EX I don't think the casual wider is putting a 1.3 inch pin axle uh, in the in their 400 so I don't know y'all let me know your thoughts uh, but I'm just glad to have the correct hardware and to know that the axle itself is in good condition. Now, this is the proper hardware. You can see it's an Allen head. I need to make sure I have one that big. Um, but then you can see the issue when it comes to the overall outer diameter difference. That's why this one wasn't coming out because it's not the right size to be in there in the first place. But at least they did use, you know, kind of the right size bolt. It has a little bit too much play in it, but they found one that was somewhat similar, even though it was, you know, one metric size too small, where the actual bolt that is made for is no play but like I said I'm happy that the axle hole is not wallowed out over it out and I'm also happy that the threads in the hood are not cross threaded so somebody at some point did something halfway correct why those bolts were not all the way through the back of the hub I don't have the slightest idea doesn't make any sense I couldn't find any videos talking about the pin axle uh, so hopefully this clears up some of your questions if you happen to acquire a four wheeler with a pin axle and you're trying to figure out where the hell the splines are because there's no splines on this axle like I said this axle is 1.3 inches so it is girthy and it takes the girth the entire way because the factory axle is tapered on both ends but this one is 1.3 inches all the way across this is a beefy 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 joker right here damn mandingo of the axles what we're gonna do now is get the wheel studs put in the hub and the instructions I didn't see that any lock washers were needed just the bolts in the hubs with some blue Loctite so I bought some blue Loctite a while ago thought it was going to be small end up being this porn star right here so I'm going to get those wheel hubs installed studs are in 
They are blue Loctite per the instructions. I torqued them down to 40 foot pounds of torque, which didn't seem like all that great of an idea. So I torqued them to 20, then I did 30, then I did 40, and 40 felt like I was about to strip them. But they torqued, they're in there, they're blue Loctite. They shouldn't come out, they should feel a whole lot better. Uh, where is my hammer? And then, per the instructions, it's going to go bolt. Washer. Hole. Lock washer. And bolt. And I don't know why this bolt is so doggone long, but you know, that thing is really long. It's hard to get, like I can't get the wrench on the nut because you can't get around it. And I can't even get a socket on there because there's literally no room like you can't hold it you can't keep it from moving because like the wrench like it just barely fits around it and you can't get enough on it to actually hold it so let me play with this and i'll be back all right so what i did was that i added the two washers that came off the old boat fit in there it gave me more headroom on the bolt. So hopefully when it squishes, I will still have enough headroom on the bolt to torque it down. So I got the 19 millimeter on a socket to hold it. And then hopefully I can torque this bad boy down to 90 foot pounds, no problem. Well, the instructions say between 90 and 60. Well, between 60 and 90 so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it to 90 All right, and hopefully this will be the solution and if that's the case I will use a washer or two from the other side All right, so I'm thinking that these uh, this hardware set is for the billet axle it looks like the billet axle has less material uh, around those holes uh, so it's probably way easier to do it on the billet axles oh shiitake oh boy how much head I Is that 90? Good God of my. <clears throat> oh, all right. Yeah, click that 90. And the hub is tight. So I'm going to get another. This is a half inch uh, by 20. So I'll run the lows at some point um, before we go to Busco Beach. And I will get a. I'll get two more half inch by 20 nuts. And then that will act as a lock nut to lock these together to further prevent them from backing out. Because I don't trust this. Even though it was bolted down, torqued down to 90 foot pounds of torque. Uh, and I know my car lug nuts are, both, are torqued down to 80 and they don't come off. I'd rather this not come off uh, on the trails. So the lugs are bolted down to 40 foot pounds. And the pin is recommended between 60 and 90. I went ahead and did 90. And when I do the uh, jam nut, I will do probably 60. 
All right, so this is all done. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And if everything is the same, I'll be back when I'm done. So I'm on the left side and I just got the wheel off. And look how loose this is. This is pretty, this, oh my God. This is a whole lot of loose. So I hope that the hole is not over out. Cause this is really loose. Like really, really, really loose. Uh, so let's get this taken apart and let's hope that the hole is not over out, wallowed out. Jesus Christ. Got the hub off. So let's see if the hole is tight or not. Oh yeah. Well the hole is still tight. So I think we're good to go. So that bolt just was not tight enough. Uh, the outside hole has roughly the same amount of play as the outside hole on that one. Which leads me further to believe that this bike was raced or XC or just whatever on the wider track and the inside track was not used that much. And luckily, it wasn't used that much with the boat not being tight because the hole is not wallowed out. So I'll be back once I clean up this axle a little bit. Like that one is cleaned up. And once I get the new um, lug bolts installed and get the pin installed and all that stuff. But I am going to use, it was only one washer on this side. So I'm going to have to figure out another washer because uh, it needs to stick up. It needs to be a little bit proud so that I actually can hold it, uh, the nut, to tighten down. So I will get something figured out and I'll be back once it is figured out. both sides are done so as you can see here all new hardware on the left side and this thing is tight it is tight it is on there again the wheel studs are torqued down to 40 foot pounds and I got the pin torqued down to 90 and like I said about probably two seconds ago for you I'm going to get the half inch by 20, uh, get another nut, bolt, whatever to put on here, get another nut to put on here to lock it to prevent it from potentially backing out. Uh, I also did get the tail light on. And let's see. So just something slight, something simple. You know, if it's supposed to have a tail light, it won't have a tail light. All right, so this is a non reverse model. So it's no brake light, just a single function tail light. So there it is. And that's really it. So this thing here should be trail ready. I think I fixed everything except for the hind joints on the upper A arms. They're a little loose on the right side. Has a little bit of play in them, it's not bad. Uh, but everything else has been addressed. I was really worried about this axle. I was worried about these holes being overed out and luckily they were not, especially on this one, because this one was really, really loose. But now everything is on there good and tight. New hardware. The hardware was $78 if you need it. Uh, I didn't see it on the website, so I contacted, I called them directly, he picked the phone up. He was doing something, he was busy, and he stopped what he was doing, and he took my order over the phone, and he had it to me in like four days, four or five days from California. So, all new hardware. Everything's tight. Um, the wheels, everything looks good. The inserts are there. Um, the 
lug nuts, the tapered lug nuts, uh, fit on the new hardware nice and smooth, so nothing is cross threaded. I did clean this axle up a little bit. I might take a little bit of WD-40 or something and put on there, uh, just to kind of keep it looking nice. But, yeah, everything is everything, and this video has probably been long enough, so I'm going to let y'all go. So, anything, uh, think, build, enjoy. Uh, the next video you will see on my 400 will be going to Busco Beach and riding. So, hope y'all look forward to it because I look forward to it. This will be my first ride on my 400. So, I've been wanting one for years and I finally got one. I'm 36 years old, just now getting my own four wheeler. Like I said, I have my 85, 125, three that will be up for sale. I have my 83 200E that's not going anywhere. And I have my Baja mini bike that's not going anywhere. And I have a 91 Z50R that is also for sale. Uh, but yes, this is my first quad and I've been wanting one for a long time. So everything else, all my other toys may leave one day, but the 2400 EX, my 83 200E, and that Baja will be the last three items to leave. Be the last three items that I will sell. I'm going to keep those three. Like I said, the Z50R, the 125. Time is short for those. But I want to be cruising on my 400 for years to come. So. Like I said, if anything you're going to do in life, think, build, enjoy. I will see y'all on the trails at Busco Beach. Peace.